Hi everyone, welcome to Cindy's Corner. It's the end of my work week and I'm gonna take you along as I make a snack and a beverage for myself so I can relax tonight, kick back with some music playing and just chill out. It's, it's a pretty soggy day here in New York City. It's kind of actually muggy. I, I actually had to take my sweater off, it's too warm. It's in the it's in the mid 60s, so it's not like it's really it doesn't really feel like fall. The leaves are turning. That's a good thing. So tonight we're gonna be doing things with apples and things that look like apples. Sounds like a mystery, doesn't it? Okay. Well, we're gonna get started with you know actually what happened was I was starting to prep some stuff and I said well I should probably just start filming and so you guys can watch all this stuff. So what we're doing is, um, this is kind of a part two of my uh, snack. I'm going to make some little cheese cubes and I'm gonna have some Granny Smith apples on top. So I took an apple, I cut it in half and then I cored it. And then I cut this um, size in half and then into four pieces. And the thing you have to do, remember, whenever you have apples is you wanna dip them in lemon water so that they don't turn brown. So let me just dip, get these guys in here and I'm going to have to dip those as well. Grab some paper towels because what I want to do, I already dipped a couple here. So I want to get them dipped in the lemon water on all sides and then I want to dry them off. You know, and I'm going to just put them in this little bowl here. Tonight we're, we're doing all about toothpicks, I guess. <laughs> because everything on my snack plate is gonna have a toothpick in it. So it's not something I do all the time, but you know, it's kind of fun to do that. So just make sure, especially if you cut it into a cube or something like this, that you get it dipped on all the sides. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to dip this in there, and I'm actually gonna dip this half too. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna use these guys to make a fruit salad for myself for breakfast. Okay, so we'll put that away. Okay, so actually we're gonna move on to the main event for the snack plate. So what these are called is caramel apple grapes. This is so cute and so nice for fall and these taste amazing. So you have to do these ahead. And I'll tell you, I'm not the best candy maker, so these may not be the prettiest things on the planet, but I tell you, they really taste good. The flavors are amazing. So the idea here is that you're taking a green grape and you're gonna dip it into a caramel sauce. And I have the recipe in the description box. So basically, you're taking the caramels that you get at the store and you unwrap them, you put them, I did it in a measuring cup in the microwave with a little bit of cream and you just melt it. I melted it like 30 seconds, stirred it up 30 seconds, you know, kind of like that till you get it into a sauce consistency. You do really have to stir it to get it, uh, cause it, it's quite, it's actually hot, but as you stir it, it starts to turn into a sauce. So, and then what happens next is you will, dip the, you have to wash and dry your grapes very well. Yep, this is definitely a sticky one. So you dip the grapes, you dip the grapes in the caramel sauce and then you dunk them in some chopped walnuts or chopped nuts of your choice. And so it kind of looks like a miniature car caramel apple, which you're gonna see all, all over the place at like bakeries and places like that. So. This, this is so cute. So I made a bunch of these last night and you know, it wasn't the kind of thing that you that I could demo because it's just, you have to make these and you have to put them in the fridge so that they kind of solidify. Okay, and they are definitely a little sticky. So I'm going to get my snack plate out and we're gonna portion some of these onto the snack plate. And we'll try and get ones that are standing up nice and tall. And like I say, this this is a little, it is sticky. And oh, and yeah, I put it on a plate that has wax paper on it. I thought that would be a really good 
idea. Okay, and now I'm using a spoon to kind of scoop them off the wax paper. And boy, do these taste good. You know, the thing about the grape with the nuts and the caramel, the grape is nice and juicy. So it almost, honestly, it really almost tastes like an apple. It's just really a fun, fun little treat. Okay, and just really cute. Now you might be a little bit better of a candy maker than me, and yours might look a little prettier than mine, but you know what? These are gonna, they still taste really good. Okay, so I'm gonna put six on there. Okay, and I'll save the rest for, this probably won't last tonight, I tell you. They're pretty darn yummy. So what I did is I, for like a secondary thing on my plate, is I cut up some Monterey Jack cheese. This is a really mild, neutral flavored cheese that goes well with a lot of things. And I've done it before where I've made little skewers with cheese and like strawberries or blackberries, something like that. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take the cheese and the Granny Smith apple and I'm just gonna stick a toothpick through it. And this will be a yummy little treat. Okay, let's put that on there. I guess I should do that on my cutting board so it doesn't make so much noise. I'll move that out of there. Okay, so again, I'm taking my little piece of Granny Smith on top of a piece of cheese and just stick a toothpick through it. And we're gonna put these on the plate. And I think the two, the two different contrasting things are really fun and this is going to be a really nice nice little contrast with the, the grapes and the caramel sauce and the nuts so very nice let's get another toothpick Put that over there and I've got two more pieces of cheese put one over here Gosh, I've got a whole green thing going on here. I didn't, I didn't quite realize that, but that's kind of nice. Okay, so that's the secondary thing. So I've got these cute little grapes with the caramels dipped in the caramel sauce and the nuts, and I've got also some Granny Smith apples with a little Monterey Jack cheese. Yum. Okay, so let's put that on the table, and then we'll come back and we're gonna make our cocktail. Right back. Okay, so I need to clear away some of this stuff. So let's get that out of the way. Put this down here, put you over there. Okay, so what we're making tonight is an apple cider cable car cocktail. So this is a variation of a cable car. Cable car is a cocktail that was made famous in San Francisco where they have the cable cars. And this one involves rum. So I've got gold, Bacardi gold tonight, and it includes Cointreau, orange liqueur. So this is, this is, um, I haven't done too many cocktails where we have rum and Cointreau in it. And of course, of course, the star of the show is the apple cider. Make sure you shake it up. Every grocery store right now has apple cider, so it's definitely time to be making things with apple cider. Okay, so let's get this set up. Now I've already measured out my cider. Basically for this recipe, it's gonna be three ounces of apple cider. We're gonna put it into an ice-filled shaker. Okay, now we also have, it's only got four ingredients, so this is one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. That's gonna add some nice brightness to it. Now let me get a shot glass. We're going to have one ounce of the Bacardi Gold rum. So this is a two ounce shaker, so it's gonna be half. Oh, that does smell good. And a half an ounce of Cointreau. That's normal, I think I mentioned this last week. 
typically the recipes, whatever spirit they have it along with Cointreau, it's going to be usually half of what the other spirit is. Okay, so it's a half an ounce of the Cointreau. Okay, so now we're going to get the top. Let's move these guys out of the way. We're going to give it a good shake. Remember, shake it till your hands are frozen. You can really tell the whole thing gets all frosted up. Okay, now we're going to strain it into, this time I got it on the rocks glass. Now these glasses I got at a thrift store and I really liked the little facets. I thought that was really fun. So that's what I'm pouring this into. Very nice. And we're going to garnish it with a cinnamon stick. So you could either put the cinnamon stick in the drink or I'm just going to lay it across the glass like that and serve it like that. So cheers. Have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. And I will see you soon.